Hi, it's Pastor Nass. Thanks for joining me for some more encouragement from God's Word. When I got home last week, there was a nice surprise waiting for me at home. Fresh strawberries. My wife and kids had gone to a nearby farm and picked some strawberries right off the plants because it's strawberry season. Although strawberries from the store are good, there's nothing that compares with fresh strawberries from the field. It's great to be in strawberry season, but that season's going to end soon. We're used to this. There's always seasons that are happening after strawberry season. It's going to be sweet corn season, and we're going to have all the sweet corn we can eat, and then it'll be the next thing and the next thing. And in our world, there's seasons for everything. Here in the Midwest, there's four distinct seasons. Summer, fall, winter, spring, over and over again. We're used to the seasons changing. There's football season that leads to basketball season or hockey season that leads to baseball season, and at least in a normal year. We're used to the idea of seasons. So let me ask you this. What season in your life is the season for God and his word? You know, as the seasons change, as we go through the year as a a pastor, sometimes I notice that people in their lives seem to just set aside certain seasons for growing closer to Jesus. Summer, for example, for many people is not the time to be in God's word and certainly not the time to be at church, right? I mean, summer's the time to be at the lake, to be fishing. It's it's summer season, not, not church season. I hope you can see the problem with that. When is it that our hearts need to hear encouragement from God? When is it that our souls need to receive Jesus' forgiveness? It's all the time. Wonder what the changing season is if the devil isn't getting better and better at convincing us that in every season of the year, there's reasons we have better things to do than to spend time with our Savior. The summer, there's trips and vacations and the lake. In the fall, it's football on Sundays. I mean, how are we going to make it to church? In the winter, there's family gatherings. There's At every season of the year, the devil's going to come to you and encourage you that now isn't the time to spend more time with Jesus. So there's a verse in the Bible that encourages us as Christians to remember that God's word isn't just for one particular season, it's for all seasons. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, Paul encourages Timothy, a pastor, by saying, Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great care and careful instruction. Timothy was to preach the word. And when was he to do it? In season and, and out of season. Because every day is a day that I need to hear God remind me that my sins are bad, that I need to confess them and to repent. Every day I need God to remind me that Jesus died on the cross to take my sins away so I can be sure that I'm forgiven and I'm going to go to heaven. Every day I need God's word to remind me what it is to to please God and, and how to live, to follow God's commands. Every day I need to be reminded of how I've been baptized into God's family and all those sins have been washed away. There's no season for God's word. He says, preach the word in season and out of season. So as you watch the seasons change around you, strawberry season to sweet corn season, summer to fall, whatever those changes might be, my prayer for that you is that every season would be a season in which God's word is at the center of your life, in which you're sharing that word with your families, in which you're reading that word for yourselves. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great care and patient instruction. May God bless your day.